question which we solved with hand calculations on Autodesk robot software and after we do that we are going to apply some loads and some dimensions for which we can compare the results with our hand calculations in the end also in this video I will show you how we can model separate cases case 0 and case 1 with uh, the given loads from the force method and we are going to solve them and of course in the end you can just compare the results which we got with the hand calculations and those one which we get with the software i will only compare for the real structure so let's create a new project and we are yet on the frame to the design yes we have a new project and the first thing to be done is to draw the shape of our structure and we have to assign some members for it we go here and now we can start to draw the members let's start from point zero and if we go back to our exercise we had parametric dimensions a and b and the q load and in the end from the previous video it was decided to use or to assume these values in order us to solve and just make sure that what we did was correct so now A was 5 meters, we go here and we select this one, this member is 5 meters, next we have 5 meters in these directions and we close it with the 5 meters. After we define the members, now we have to assign the support condition, so we had from the exercise, if we go back, it was mentioned that from the problem A and B are seem to be pins shown here on the figure and now we go to the software and we choose the pinned options and these are going to be the boxes checked and now we select our nodes okay the direction is wrong as you can see it has a rotation of 90 we press 0 and it's okay for us to override it as this is going to be one example and we click add it will ask if we want to modify it press yes and now we select the other node and then we can assign this support the next step to be done before applying the load on member ac we have to create the load case let's just create a dead load case and now we go to the load definition and we have a distributed load acting on this member so now we go to a member load we go to uniform load and the load is acting on x direction and if we go back it was mentioned that the value of it can be assumed to be taken as 5 kilonewtons per meter we go next direction and we just press 5 now we click add now we select the bar and we already have now the value of 5 kilonewton meters load acting on member ac so now if we hit analysis we are going to have the results available to us as on the previous video if we do not want to include the dead load we just go here to this case and we can remove it one way to do it is like this and now if we go again to start and now we run again the analysis and then we're going to have the results available to us so let's just go and check the bending moment diagram it should look something like this from what we calculated by hand and if we show the bending moment i would prefer these settings hit apply and we are going to have these values here of bending moments and if we compare these results if i take a snapshot and if we compare with this once here we can see that our hand calculations were correct we have positive bending moment here positive bending moment here and we have negative bending moment here and negative bending moment here so this comes to prove that our hand calculations were correct next if we want to check the support reactions <coughs> again we go to the software and now 
we turn off the bending moment function and I'll go to the reactions and we have fx and fz do not forget to turn descriptions on and now these are going to be the values which we get for which if we compare with our results we are going to have the same it's just a different sign if you can notice from the calculations because what we assume when we solve with the force method it seems that this is the correct direction I'll just quickly check AX okay FZ okay okay and this one okay yep So this was modeling this question, but also in this video I'd like to include on how we can model separately those cases, case um, 0 and case 1, as we have induced an internal hinge at uh, point C. And for the purpose of this video, I'd like to show how you can model that on Autodesk robot software. So let's go to the results and turn this off. And now let's go to tools customize show toolbars and we need this edit toolbar here because I want to copy the structure so I select this one and I will copy once in this direction and that's enough so we decided to have a release here so in order for us to add a hinge at this node we go to the geometry and we have the option which says releases so basically we have a pinned connection here and we have a fixed one here so if we go to the for example this option pin fixed i will show you what is the definition of it so basically on the end part which is going to be this one is going to be completely fixed and we have these rotations on y which we set free therefore this will be a hinge here so now if we select in this manner, as you can see these arrows here, they indicate that the left side will be pinned and the right side will be fixed. So now we have added the hinge here. And we have the load of 5 kN per meter. And if we want to show this hinge here, we just press twice the V button on our keyboard. And we go to... and we go to the fa we go to favorites and we press this button releases on and we can see that we have this release here so now if we want to model case one for which we had those bending moments here at the corner let's just copy this one one more time and now we need to delete this distributed load as we are on k0 and from the beginning of this exercise we did we decided to apply this one kilometer meters in this direction so now uh, how i would like or how i prefer to model it on this software is to divide this member at a very small distance compared to this whole length which is five meters so for example if i go to this option which says division and choose in distance and then i can choose this for example at 0 0.001 meters i would like to generate a node so now i click here and now i have already added for this member here and i do the same thing for the other one and basically i will apply those bending moments are going to be close to this node uh, because if I do not do this one, then if I just add those uh, counter moments or those one kilonewton meter moments at this node, they will balance out each other and then nothing will happen on the structure. So now if we go on this member here and we show the nodes, we can see that we have these three nodes here. And for node 13, as shown here, we have applied a counterclockwise bending moment with value of 1. So now we go to the load definition, we add the nodal load 
and positive bending moment is clockwise according to this one and if we go back to the exercise we had a counterclockwise bending moment so we just press minus one and now we added the bending moment next for the other part we have a clockwise the direction is positive we just press one and now we click the node so now we have added the bending moments and what's left to be done is to run the analysis it's going to mention something about a separate structure click yes and we are going to have the results for also for case one, for case zero and case one for which you can check later on what we calculated by hand and of course you can show the results and compare them with the ones which we got with the hand calculations so thank you very much for your time this was today's video i really hope you enjoyed today's video if there is any question please leave them down in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more content see you on the next video